Hello everyone, I hope everyone has been doing great. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm answering one of the questions that has been sent to me, period colors and their meaning. And if you like the content that I do, do not forget to like, to share and to subscribe. So let's get into the topic. It is completely normal for your menstrual blood to change during your period and it can vary from bright red to dark brown. The color changes depending on how long the blood takes to leave your body. So let us start with number one. Bright red. So your blood is going to be red at the heaviest of your periods because there is a steady flow of blood from the body. And this is what everyone expects. However, your blood is bright red because there is a faster rate of blood leaving the body. So it does not have time to oxidize. What do I mean? When blood mixes with oxygen, when there is a steady flow of blood from the body, there is going to be less time for it to mix up with oxygen. Therefore, it is going to come out as bright red. However, if it mixes up with the oxygen, it becomes darker. And that is where you see bright red color. In addition to bright red, let me talk about heavy periods. Now, blood clots usually occur during the heaviest days of your period and you'll normally see the blood is normally bright red or dark red depending on your flow and this is because there is a faster and heavier blood flow which the body cannot process therefore leading to the formation of clots now these menstrual clots are normal however they are a sign of heavy periods so if you go through heavy periods and you experience any of these signs that i'm going to give you please see your doctor or your gynecologist immediately if your periods are always heavy throughout your menstruation cycle you should see your doctor because when you're bleeding you're supposed to start with a heavy and then it comes on turning down fourth or fifth day most people are usually finished if you're always tired if you're if you feel dizzy if you're out of breath you should see your doctor you're not supposed to feel like that if you have severe cramps accompanied with heavy period you should see a doctor if your blood clots are always bigger in size you should totally visit your doctor if you're bleeding for more than seven days you you're losing a lot of blood you should visit your doctor and lastly if you're changing your tampon or your pad every one or two hours you're losing a lot of blood sweetie you should go and see your doctor because i change mine on if i'm working i change it like every after I think four to five hours but if i go to bed i think even seven hours yeah seven hours it can go so if you're changing your pad every one or two hours you're losing a lot of blood you should see the doctor you should go to the hospital and see what's causing this whole thing dark red this is common in the morning hours when you have been lying down for a while so this is because the flow is slower and the blood has more time to mix up with the oxygen therefore you will see blood is darker and you will see it normally at the beginning or at the end of your periods because that is when the the blood flow is slower and blood has more time to mix up with the oxygen another reason for dark red may be postpartum bleeding after childbirth the vaginal discharge also known as lycra will be dark red color however after birth Bleeding is usually heavy and bright red and normally slowly darkens as the flow reduces. Dark brown or black. This is usually old blood and you will see it at the beginning or at the end of your period when the blood flow has slowed down a bit. And people, I've seen ladies get scared of it, but it's just like that deep, 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 deep red. Because if you get, um, they normally come in small dark very dark dark clothes if you get that and you just squish it in your hands or your tissue you will you will know like you will see like it's a dark a deep dark red it's not disgusting it's your menstrual blood it's coming out of you so yes it is just old blood however you should know that if there is a brownish discharge or spotting when you are pregnant or during pregnancy it may indicate that you have a miscarriage or an ectopic pregnancy what do i mean a miscarriage is when you lose your fetus your zygote your baby according to the gestation um period that you're on and then an ectopic pregnancy is when a fertilized egg implants itself outside of the uterus normally they do it in the fallopian tubes so when you're experiencing a lot of pain and there is a brownish discharge 
please go to the hospital immediately light pink or pink blood and um, this is normally due to the cervical fluid mixing up with the period blood hence lightening the color um this is normally at the end of your periods when the flow is lighter so i also read somewhere else where they were talking about some other causes of pink period blood or pink blood and they talked about the estrogen levels um why they say low estrogen levels can bring about pink vaginal discharge um estrogen levels we all know that they help to stabilize the uterine wall and if they are low the uterine wall kind of breaks down and, and and it leads to irregular shedding therefore leading to spotting but then if the high estrogen levels especially ladies or women who are on oral contraceptive pills it also lightens our periods leading to a lighter period color so in my opinion i think low high or even normal estrogen levels can bring about pink period blood orange blood you should not be getting orange blood but if you do it is a sign of an infection like bacterial vaginosis or sexually transmitted infection so you should check out for signs like vaginal forward smell um itching or discomfort there is also that gray color and it is a sign of an infection like bacterial vaginosis however it is hard to notice you can use the signs um for example burning sensation when you're susuling or you're peeing um itching inside and outside of the vagina forward smelling vaginal discharge all this can show you that that you have an infection and this can be treated by antibiotics, but you have to go and see your doctor or see your gynecologist so that they can give you the right medication to do away with this infection. But if you also notice a great discharge accompanied with blood clots or tissue, cramping and excessive pain in the lower abdomen, there's a possibility that you have a miscarriage. So go to the hospital immediately. You may ask yourself what affects our period blood? colors there are three factors the flow rate exposure to oxygen and the dilution when the flow rate is fast you will see a bright red when the flow rate is slow it will have time to oxidize and you will get a dark red or a brown when um, there is dilution with cervical fluids or vaginal discharge you will get a pink color so when should you have an appointment with your doctor or gynecologist or go to the hospital if you have any concerns about your period colors if you feel like mm -mm, i'm not feeling well today i do not know what's happening there it does not matter which color you have red pink go to the hospital and find out why you're not feeling well because our bodies keep on communicating to us if they're not okay do not ignore any signs go to the hospital and check what is happening if you're missing your periods every every two to three months you don't get your periods then you get it like the fourth month <laughs> if you're sexually active and you're pregnant when you're pregnant we don't expect periods but if you're if you are of um age and you're menstruating and you're missing some months unless you're pregnant you should go and find out why you're missing your periods if you're having irregular painful periods also you should go and check it out if you're bleeding in between your periods if you're bleeding after sex if you're bleeding after menopause you should also go and check that out if you're also bleeding during pregnancy that is not a good sign you should check that out too so we have come to the end of our topic today thank you guys for watching if you found the video helpful do not forget to share it leave a comment like and most importantly subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that i upload until next time bye bye